Hey everyone, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com and I wanted to welcome you to the WordPress Dashboard Tutorial for Beginner series here where I'm going to be going over the WordPress fundamentals and in this series I'm basically going to be covering a bunch of different things within the WordPress Dashboard itself and I want to help you learn to be fully comfortable within the WordPress Dashboard and I want you to be able to navigate around the Dashboard very freely and easily I also want you to just feel that confidence overall to make changes within the dashboard as well. So a couple things that I wanted to point out before I dive in is I'm going to be going through this in a step-by-step -step process. And I'm going to be trying to use examples along the way that would make sense to why each section within the dashboard is important that we cover. I'm going to cover almost everything in there and I want to be able to show you why it's important and have this be a reference that you can come back to time and time again when you're creating websites or trying to navigate around the dashboard. I remember I struggled with this a lot when I was first learning WordPress and there weren't videos out here like this to learn from. So I really hope that you can benefit from this series and feel free to subscribe and let's dive in now if this sounds good to you.